Good. Day's young. Lots of walking. Maybe some talking. It begins to pick up as the rest of the group continues to walk. What are we gonna do with Dagon? Saying deeply under my breath after they take a f- in several steps camp. away you, in thieves' camp, <laughs> in halfling thieves' camp. You hear a. You hear a. We're gonna be learning about each other. What do you want? Where it started? Or where it's going? Like that meme. <laughs> well, I am a fan of history. <laughs> Let's start there. Leans back and kind of flicks the toothpick. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit broader than I was expecting. <laughs> it's okay. God, quick, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> My friends here, we're um, we're from a disparate collective, you would say, called the Claire Orders. Clare orders. Oh. Much like you were traveling with the good lady, we found ourselves hired by her and others for some time. Made some good coin. Did some travel. And I found a secret. I found a little peek into something beyond. And he points to the fire. Something with promise. Knowledge. You tried to pass it off as the plague. <laughs> you covered it in mm. egg. It was real gross and a real bad idea, to be totally honest. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was an aberration. Same dick. <laughs> <laughs> he actually laughs to himself with that. <laughs> <laughs> With each dream, a different mind came to me. Luctus, Gaudius, Ira, Vigilan, one by one, the Somnavum came to me and showed me what the city was. The collections of minds finding emergence, becoming one under these eyes of nine. I was kind of banking on having Caleb's tower, you know? I, I was already, yeah. Yeah, and not like a, 12 other people around us. Yeah, I feel like that would make for a very interesting uh, first date. It'd be uncomfortable. But I think uh, I would rather wait for something, uh, I don't know, not this. Not anxiety inducing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is weird. 100% weird. I don't know how to talk to him at I all. I either, I hate him. Yeah, I kind of do, but at the same time, I'm, 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 I want him back. It's frustrating because you can see that one person of him, that ten percent of him that is that piece of Molly. Yes. So it's like you can see this version of him that's better and good and not corrupted by. Well, I was gonna say greed and arrogance, but arrogance kind of was always Molly. Already there, thing. it was already it was there. fine, but, but it was cute. It was, it was cute. Fun. It was endearing. Yeah, yeah. charming arrogance. Yeah. This is a little different. Yeah. Um, I think we should put a pin in it. Okay. And uh, let's stay alert and please um, don't die in the meantime. Don't die. Okay. Next time we have the tower. Okay. Shake on it. (laughs) (laughs) I kick some snow into the lava. Okay. So it just floats. But maybe we can build like a raft, like a snow raft. We should just build a raft and, and leave right now, you and me. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. It's a good idea, though. It's a very inviting. Okay. As she comes back, I'm gonna grab Yasha. And, <laughs> can we go to the edge of the lava, just you <laughs> and me? <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Sure. sure. Let's go. I just squint at Veth as. They walk by. This is not how I pictured tonight going. 
an asshole. <laughs> we what, do you, what do you mean? I had a plan to do something really nice for you, really special, and have like a oh, a one-on-one -on -one moment. And yeah, I it mean, it just didn't happen. You it's know? okay. I I think, you know what? We'll make sure to do it at another time. No, I think I can do it now. I oh. wrote you a poem. Uh. <laughs> oh, no one's ever written me a poem before. Yeah. I thought, you know, oh. you, you, you've just been so distant from us. I just want to make make sure that you know that you're part of the team and part of the, the family, and so... Beth, I, that's so sweet. Well, you know, I do what I can. Should I... You can sit. I'll, I'll sit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, sit. <laughs> I'll, I'll bunch up some snow. It's not very long. I, I had to write it while we were walking today. <laughs> it was really hard to write while you walk. Anyway. Yeah, of course, it gets all weird. I've tried it. it the rhyme okay. scheme kind of falls apart. Whatever. No, 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 it's fine. Big, bold, brave Yasha. Hair so long like yummy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Sturdy as the cauldron of Tasha. If you're dirty, we will wash you. <laughs> if you cross her, it will cost you. We'd be sad if we ever lost you. Oh. <laughs> I scoop her up and I give her a big hug. Oh. <laughs> Beth, that's so nice. Thank you. Well, you know, I just thought that you needed to hear it from someone because no one's going to tell you you're special out here on, on these, you know, horrible wastelands, you know. No one's going to just look in your eyes and say, hey, you, I like you. Thank you, Veth. Um, may I keep this? Of course, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is very special. Um, I'm gonna put it in my my uh, flower journal. Okay. And just remember, I was the first person to ever write you a poem. I will always remember it. Thank you so much, Veth. I I, I will always remember. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll 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 we will we will. We'll do something more special. Let's put a pin in this. Well, though. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah, do we'll that. Yeah, we'll do a, a proper something. A proper something. Okay. Something. Yes, I'm okay. in. Okay. All right. Shake on it. <laughs> <laughs> shake up. <laughs> yeah. Great. Such a dick. Okay. Fucking troll. Oh my god. <laughs> Masterful. What? So, how are you guys resting? What are you doing? What? You want to go talk about it next to the lava? <laughs> <laughs> if I were to throw up any. This isn't where I. If I don't go home, my son grows up without a mother. My husband has to find a new wife, and he has n no game. <laughs> <laughs> He's sweet, though. He's very sweet, but like, woof. But I grokked up. But <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. I would do better. But but I wanted to come. I wanted to be here. And no, wait, there's. I just want a fresh start with Yasha because we've been through so much. I was thinking about it the other day. I've fought Yasha like four times in hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. really did. It, like, we've had more physical contact through beating the shit out of each other than anything else. Mm -hmm. So it kind of feels like there's like a little bit of this like um, past baggage. Muscle I don't know. memory? Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Yep. So it just felt like maybe maybe a date. But kind of full disclosure, the last time I went on a date, like growing up my idea of a date was to get tipsy and then commit a B and E and then get more tipsy and then maybe in the night with blackmail depending on how the B and E went. Wow. Your romantic life it's really unique. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, date? You're gonna go on a date like now? Well, it's the same thing. We could die tomorrow. True. We could die at any point, and I think. Um, Why don't you just like you know go have a picnic by the lava or something? Well, <laughs> peek my head out to Lucian. That's not. Right. That's creepy. Sure. Yeah. I look at Lucian. Is he blinking yet? Lucian! Lucian! 
Oh, meine Auge. <laughs> you're like sits of a bitten. Up and they're both know. going down? No, Yasha, right? Yeah. Well, and I, Yasha. I'm going down too. I will uh, You gotta I'll choose take, between Yasha or Caduceus. I'll take Yasha. I'll take the healer. <laughs> Wow, we'll work on that later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, because you are flying. Wow, a clear value was just dated. <laughs> That's great. I, I have to be proficient in the skill, but you said a dexterity check. But you rolled a one? I am not a proficient in dexterity. That is correct. But a halfling, when they roll can a one, try to... can re roll. Yeah. True. Yeah, that's what true. I'm talking about. That is true. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, ro I rolled yeah, the bonus. Yeah, you're right. This goes down a little quicker than you thought, and Yasha, you trip and end up going over, and you 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 hit it, and just pushing through the pain, you continue to push forward and kick up over and land. But as you do, your leg, Whoa. and you hear Yasha's yell, scream out. In the midst of this, my elbow and so to keep it in socket. I'm like, yeah, but... oh, again! <laughs> <laughs> Bo does start to have an inner monologue go, though. What is mm -hmm. this feeling? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Feel so safe. <laughs> uh, Who is this man? I'm straining really hard. <laughs> 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 well, I'm turtling. Get, get to the end. <laughs> Drop as soon as you're able. Oh. <laughs> Will we be together forever? <laughs> Says you. Uh huh. And I think we're all trying to guide each other in a very incorrect direction. No, no, we're all following you as the de facto <laughs> leader. We are not all following each other. We're following you. I don't know. Seems like quite a bit of you are making your own paths as well. Yes, I'm lost, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a dick about it. She's Got like, it, like, she's like this about like everything. Douchebag delusion. I like, more, I like it more. You do, you do see, like, he is filled with frustration. He, this is the first time he's, the first time he's had to show a little bit of limitation and he's not happy about it. If you feel like it'll reveal our cards. Did you just toot? No, it's the <laughs> <laughs> I broke another one. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> my chair's all wet. <laughs> oh no! Can we just buy a, like a oh, box of them from? Well, I think they, someone must make like a really hard core. And then the dirty one. <laughs> he doesn't know. But then, what if he does? Well, what if we walk out the door and he's like, ah, 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 you don't have something with you right now that you <laughs> had before. Then we have to go get another one. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That was really that was I can on. sense it's not on you. Whoa. I cast a spell on the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> it's been me the whole, the whole time. time. <laughs> <laughs> We come out and he's like, "Ooh, I don't smell ye." Oh, wow, <laughs> oh, you dear. Special grit. That is a perfect. Are we fighting pirates now. Is that what's Keep happening? going. Yeah. Keep going. Keep finishing. He's an out. Irish oh. pirate. Properly uh, won. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. <laughs> Very authentic. Carry on. So if he's like, "You don't got it." <laughs> <laughs> You don't got it. You don't get it. Wolfman Jack Dodge is your keeper. big Dodge man. Keeper. Keep going. <laughs> it's in there. Then we're like, oh no, and we have to go get another crest, right? Oh, like but if he knew where it was the whole time, why didn't he just take it? Exactly. Yeah. And I, I mean, feel, yeah. And he, he's mentioned himself. He's like, ooh, you serve a bigger purpose to this. So, you know. That's a good bane. That <laughs> you see life very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Your filter is incredible. Baddie. I'm a dinosaur. I'm Lucian. <laughs> my reckoning. Maybe he thinks he does not need to break a sweat. After all, he dropped us from the sky with no effort at all. Mm -hmm. we well, I have a tower I carry around in my pocket, and only we fit in here. Thank you. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. There is a brief moment of anxiety before suddenly you're surrounded by a cold sensation as all of you fall onto the icy snow, hands and knees. 
I was gonna have a hot meal. <laughs> I was gonna have a. <laughs> 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 Hot meal? Hot yeah. meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. okay. Let's just spend another night in the see-through dome all together. <laughs> you know, if it'll help, I have marine layer. <laughs> 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 Hot box the dome. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your leader. Also, oh. I do tarot card readings. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> just, just, just not so here. You... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been here the, the whole book. time. I said I was following you guys. I, I just wasn't talking, okay? As, as you both walk away and she bursts out, immediately the attention shifts and goes, See, no, that's a nice offer. Do you want me to read your tarot cards? Certainly. I choose three cards. <laughs> he does so. Okay. Roll a d20, sir. <laughs> Nine. Oh, how fucking perfect. Wow. Okay, fucking oh, game, wow. I swear to God. Wow. Okay. This is the card wow. of your past. And I look down at it. <laughs> this card is history and the dream. How fucking crazy is that? Oh my god. He gives a smile and a nod. <laughs> Eyes unblinking. Oh, a massive creature shatters a city. Shut up. That's so fucking perfect. What? Okay, flip the next card. Roll a d20. It's the image of the calamity. One. What? Oh this, no. This card. Ooh, this is your present. The tyrant. Ooh, two dragons fight each other in a figure eight. The one facing you is red. Hmm. Flip your last card. This is your future. 18. <sighs> wow. This card is so important. This is the card. I want you to roll a d6. One. Facing you is death. That's not necessarily a bad thing, Lucien, you know? Some people think that death means a rebirth. Something must end for something new to begin. His right hand twitches, like twice. Ends up and kind of walks uncomfortably He's in towards the uh, the rest of the tomb takers. <sighs> Can't blame the cards. You made him, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How fucking crazy oh. were those pools, though? As you kind of sit there looking at the cards and see him sit down, facing away from everybody. You pick them up and begin to walk back to the rest of the group as they're setting up their camp. We're going to go ahead and end tonight's episode. Oh. <laughs> we had a squirrel back home that. Uh, I like this story. Yep. Me lived. Too. Uh, <laughs> we had a squirrel back home that lived in a tree that was just outside the furthest, furthest old walls of the, of the, of the grounds. Did you feed it corn? Oh, we didn't have corn, but we did feed it nuts. Oh, that's good too. So, and it was he was uh, adorable. He was hand raised, very tame. And then one day, uh, turned, got mean. Did he get Did he get rabies? Well, that was what happened. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this story? Wait, what? <laughs> story is. 
Sometimes something from outside can get into a person and change them, just change them utterly. And that thing, you don't know how old it is, where it came from necessarily, but it is, it's not that they stop being them, they just start being something else that may be older, may be darker. So Lucian is Molly's rabies? Yeah. I think Nonagon is Lucian's Lucian's rabies. rabies. (laughs) Yeah. What a crazy <laughs> phrase. Please <laughs> come by. It's been a whole week since we played, and I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Every Thursday. Every Just Thursday. A week. I'm trying to remember. Such a long week. Seriously. Um, I think growth hormone. <laughs> wasn't there? Was there? <laughs> Wasn't there arm- Before we finish breakfast, since we had a bit of a conversation the other day, sure, I'd be curious. He pulls in the cloak and pulls out what you see to be the collection of papers and haphazard binding on the tome that you saw taken from the interior of Vesterogna's chambers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Begin abruptly. Like the early pages are no longer part of it. They read like brief passages about historical musings, piecing together elements of Eor's history, mental notes over breakfast by a confounded arcanist, uh, discussions of the convocation of Eor, the committee of mages that governed the ancient city, pontificating about their politics and whether they were indeed a unified people, as some archivists suggest. The notes then continue, like a travelogue making themselves the briefest of entries regarding their journey northward. More entries beyond that briefly note his entrance to a subterranean labyrinth of corridors and structures. One perfunctory entry speaks of an uncovered text hurriedly scrawled before the death of its writer. It reads, The philosophers abandoned us. The cursed, plodding dreamers took their whole ward with them. Curse them. May they rot in. And it ended there. Eventually, an entry speaks of finding information about some of the Aeorian wards. The Paracidis ward. The Ars ward. (laughs) Ars. A-R-S. The Cognosa ward. A region organized by nine philosophers who are dedicated to the ideas of manifestation through dream and imagination with the conduit of Arcana. Increasingly obsessed with the astral plane and many of its denizens being able to forge matter from sheer will and idea alone, they were rumored to be plotting a succession, or a secession from the convocation to abscond from the city to their beloved plane of dreams and ash, as it said in some of the notes of other Aeorian denizens that seem to be speaking down on these philosophers. Then, the book changes dramatically. The following pages are filled, top to bottom page, with nonsense, deep scratches of ink, and shapes and symbols that make no sense, just hash marks and scratches and designs that overlap and twist. It is just a mess of designs and nothing. These fractals that almost draw you in, that you catch yourself leaning into the pages a bit, and then kind of pull back for a moment and blink and For a second, you catch yourself wondering, like, how much time has passed? How long have you been looking at that page? Just at that point, Lucian closes the book and goes, I think it's enough reading for now. (laughs) Oh, no. Last time this happened, we should have just hunkered down and waited it out. Would you prefer to do that? Unless you're confident, more confident than you were the first time, dude. Because we were really tired after that. Got nowhere. No. He's going to say that we move. Patience is not one of his uh, strong suits. I think we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. This way. As, as guests, do you, do you lot want to say grace? <laughs> Y'all look at each other. <laughs> oh, just goes, no. It's tradition. Say a blessing for the food, you know, based on your, the, it, the being that you worship. Oh. 
The eyes kind of go black for a second. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> was, that, uh, was that Otis? That was Otis what, the half language? Like, oh. Do you show him the little door so he can run around the tower as cats? Doesn't that let him into our room? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a there's a lock a lock on the inside of those doors and okay. rooms. <laughs> I'm not Scanlan Shorthall. <laughs> there's no sneaking into my guest's chambers. Everyone has complete privacy and they are in control. But, oh, the beard makes it creepier. <laughs> I can see you when you're asleep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> creepy. No creepy Santa, no. <laughs> Not a party. Yeah. How long do you wander about? I'll wander around with him for 30 minutes and then. Oh my god. Jester is gone for 30 minutes, guys. <gasps> Maybe she's just taking a shit. Yeah, that's true. She does she does I mean, I did say I needed privacy, shit. so yeah. <laughs> Nothing but pastries <laughs> and milk. <laughs> Maybe the oh, oh, shit's a gigantic. The <laughs> <laughs> Just fills the chamber pot all in one go. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. No. <laughs> There's a reputation around the. Uh... <laughs> oh. I think 20 I'm minutes into that, you. I would have. Uh, <laughs> I was a cat. <clears throat> Lucian's a cat. That's his secret? No. <laughs> no, he turned Lucian into a cat. Oh, oh, yes. That's foolish of me. Okay. Explain everything. Okay, so you, did you do your, did you do your poo? I didn't poo, but. Still need to? Did you pee? I actually didn't pee. <laughs> you I got distracted. Uh, not even as a cat, because it's free reign when you're a cat, That's yeah. You need a litter box. You can't just pee you anywhere. This place them would smell every 20 so yards inside the tunnels. <laughs> this, this place would smell so bad. Is it magic fey pee? Uh huh. I'm just gonna use your bathroom. And I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, and I'll come back. Okay, but he's still gonna be a cat for another like 15 minutes. If we want to do anything, he's a cat wandering around. Or you know, we could just let him be a cat. Caleb and Beauregard. Through the challenging wrestling to night and sleep, the book. as darkness awaits you in that place of dreams, you find yourself in a cold, dark space. <laughs> you kind of, you remember kind of nodding off, but now you're here, like conscious, it feels. And you kind of look around in this darkness a massive glowing red eye that just peers into you, inspecting you, piercing you, looking around, to you, within you. No words, no language. Do you feel it connect to you? Like a single thought enters your mind, like the light seems to swarm and fill your space. And all it says is, Without language, but feeling, emotion. Welcome. 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 And you hear this faint sound, this humming, like thousands of bees buzzing. And as you listen, you begin to see scratches. Shapes, flashes of the pages that you had looked at in that tome. And it's not buzzing. They're voices, they're screams, hundreds, thousands of them, just faintly out of view. Welcome. The eye closes. And you wake up, both, shooting up at the exact same time within the chamber. As Bo's like sketching in the book and kind of holding it in front of her, Kayla, make a perception check. 18. 18. As you're looking over towards Beauregard and she's sketching, you see the back of the hand that's holding the book. <gasps> A single red eye. <gasps> she's just drawing. And she's unaware. Seemingly. You see an identical red eye in the skin 
to lose him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come here, come here, come here. Turn around. I look where the tattoo on her neck is. Are there any more? No. I look at your neck. Nothing. Um, Ichabod Crane <coughs> just pulls off his his shirt, and I just start looking at like bare chest and arms to see everywhere, and turning yeah, around in yeah, front of Beauregard Ford. As Caleb's pulling back his robes, you can see on the right shoulder, just above where the bicep and deltoid meet, you see a, a similar single red eye. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh boy. And that's where we're going to pick Ooh. up. Like, oh, no. oh, <laughs> oh. Are you kidding? Holy. You asked to read the book. Yeah. I'm together. Bad. You did it I'm just together. Glad it's not on my team. <laughs> I don't know if it's that's good that we did it together or bad part. that we did it together. Uh. <laughs> no. The one who's obsessed with gaining control of his domain. Shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> and the one who is skeptical as fuck and hates all of it. Ooh, fuck. You did. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab Bo's hand and just start just trying to rub it off. <laughs> I know it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> just rub one out real quick. <laughs> rub it out real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I could use both hands. I only need one though. You're using. Yeah, I can just do it one hand real hands. fast. Work him, work him, work him, work him. Real quick. Mm. <laughs> Speed of fifty. <laughs> don't need. Don't, don't need. <laughs> Haste. Honestly, don't even need the hands. <laughs> yeah. well, I, need it. That. I don't have dust. I Bad. Roll another D8 for me, please. Oh, Ooh, I'm into it. No good. Okay. Eight. You rolled an eight. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> See, kind of running in your direction, loosely, the beating wings of a massive white dragon. What? <laughs> Fuck dragon. out what? of here. Fucking dragon. What, what are you doing? I rolled a dragon. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? Did we uh, tangle with the yeah. white dragon already? Yeah, Galadon. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, is this the same one? It's got to be. What you got? I mean, we are in the same area. Yeah, we are. Oh my god, this in could the be him. 13. Yeah, 100%. 13 with oh, the plus 10? That's 100%. rough. Oh. You hear this impact and scraping sound. <laughs> We've met before. Randy, I'm gonna cast fly on myself. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm gonna move away from where everybody is in the ground. Really? Yeah. All right. Four just Fuck. takes off at what speed? 60 feet. 60 feet. <laughs> okay, so we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Place. 34 points yeah, already. Yeah, and then the Cataclysm Bolt yes. is... Good leader move. Good job, Ford. Are you fucking kidding me? The bolt freezes around the target to cause ice damage. Uh. Fuck you! <laughs> 29 for the first hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. Yeah? No. Or no, that's the damage. Oh, that's the damage. Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. Should we start trying to kill one of the tomb takers? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> I, I, I Let me knew. get right back there. I think we have slightly impressed larger concerns. Yeah, but there's lots of other people who can take care of the dragon. Like they see everything. 
<laughs> Two of us are compromised, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Maybe they won't notice. So many fucking pigeons right now. All right, Jeez. that finishes your go. Over. <laughs> it does. All right. Uh, Otis is going to get up. He's going to do 20. He's going to, he's, that's the most he can get with his uh, prone state, and he's going to go ahead and bonus action hide behind you. Me? Yeah. Running away, I'll just fire behind me blind. <laughs> go for See it. if I can hit. Natural 20. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Do you want Are you a light foot halfway? Yeah, uh yes, I am. Okay, so you rush behind four and you see an Otis right there is like, already take it! <laughs> already take it! No, my friend! You go! You no, it's already it's my friend! <laughs> Only for you four! Whoa. What's happening? <gasps> Only guess heal! Oh! At Ford! <laughs> <laughs> What? And you're gonna regain 70 hit points! What? I know. That day, her heart grew three sizes. <laughs> <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> All that is gone. I like to imagine even Geladon is like, oh shit. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over to Jester and I'll give her a kiss. <gasps> oh. Hey, thank you. Oh. Oh, well, you know. Anything? For my Ford. <laughs> what? I'm mad for her. Where did that? I. We. Was. I just leave Veth start stammering in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing now. That's amazing. Yeah, really great. Wow. Are you steadies? I don't know. Well, you have to define it. Why? You have to be upfront with your feelings and with your status, or else someone else might come in and, and try to sweep him off his feet. Like you? I could, I could, I could if I wanted to. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. <laughs> Pictographs. You know. Moment, Sean. Sounds like. <laughs> so, if we have to, can we take the, the, the thing we have and put it somewhere where it really can't be gotten to anytime soon on a... Just like a little. I can send a thing on its way. If we have to, pretty quickly. I could very quickly. At any at any moment, yeah. do it. Mm. Yeah, I'll give him his. Hand you look you down, and your bag of holding is missing. Wait, what? Wait, what? Otis. I'm sorry. Otis. When he was behind you. Mother. Fucker, Let's mother, fucker. Are they still in the tower? Heading out the door of the, of the stop, make a perception uh, check. 22. Shit. You open the door uh, and you look outside and there is snowfall, uh, not enough to wipe out the fresher series of footprints that are leading away oh. from the door of the tower. Bitch! They mighty nined us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They uh, could go. Idea. We could go. We just go after them right now. I shoot now. three Eldritch Blasts into the bottom of the tower because nobody will be able to hear me anyway. I'm like, just setting off explosions. You hear you this get, kind of rush heavy out there. impact sounds. You swoop down and swing up, currently uh, grabbing, and you see him release it. He doesn't have the ability to hold it back, and you are now clutching with your eagle, or the, the, the owl claws from both sides, the <laughs> large, blue, <laughs> faintly glowing threshold crest stone. <laughs> follows through with an upswing. Natural 20. Ooh. I can't cancel, can I? It's you can try. I'm gonna try and cancel it. Come on, no Caddy. Oh really, my it's, God. it's a racial train? You can't even, aren't... Where, where are you at, though? Bad. He just took all your magic away? How did he do that? I don't know. How did he do that? Maybe it's just for a round? 14. We should roll low. It's not super strong if you recall Molly's physical I statistics. I do remember. <laughs> you snatch Beauregard out of Lucian's hand, and as you pull her away this direction for the rest of your 60 feet to about there. My apologies. 
but you didn't have to fall out. Oh, no. Oh, God. He puts if his hand out towards you. Talison gets killed, killed by, by his, his own, own character. character. Oh, oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> that is 19 succeeds. Oh. So you take, instead. 19. That's the program. Oh, oh, fuck me. I'm so, be glad you made this save. I already am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Half of 77. It's. He is just tried to do a spell on you? 30. 38. 30, you take 38 points of psychic damage towards you. Oh, I hate Otis. <laughs> <laughs> that is you would have turned after the. F- well, yeah, after that hit, you would have turned back God into damn it. Damn it. You all, you weren't, you weren't that high up because you were pulled closer to the ground with each hit, and you all fall and land in the snow, no longer an eagle. Oh shit, we're not okay. the shit. We are in the shit. Mm-hmm. We gotta get out of here. We just lost another owl. Yeah. Are you moving or are you staying? I, d- I made my choice, I'm okay, staying. Okay, you're staying. All right, four, what are you doing? I'll take my 60 seconds to think. <laughs> <laughs> On top of the two minutes. That yeah. <laughs> wasn't my turn. <laughs> Respect. Respect. So he has to make an intelligent saving throw. Yes. Uh, that is a 12. 16. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Oh my god. He sees Caleb, the real Caleb. Yep. If he's looking forward, turn him left. All right, so a fake Caleb will say is here. Right? Yeah, that's the real Caleb, and the real Caleb is doing this and getting ready to cast a fucking amazing spell at him. Okay. Caleb's doing this. Yeah, he's doing Naruto <laughs> shit. He's doing, Nar- he's doing Naruto moves. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, oh, 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 fire. The fire's starting in his hands. It looks bad. Not fire. Uh, no, not like, fire. Plasma. Uh, Plasma. Yeah, I don't know what that is. He's doing it though. It's crazy. <laughs> one, one to ten. Oh, fuck, man. He focuses on him. I'm Ill. Eleven to twenty. He focuses that way. Ugh. I can't see it. No one can, can see it. We can't see it. No one can. Turn the camera. Turn the PTZ. <laughs> it's an ah. eight. Oh, oh god. Did you see that on the camera? Yeah. We saw yeah. it. We saw it. Okay. And to cast slow on all of you. Bitch. Counterspell that. Wait, Wait. Caleb's here. Where? Come on. Caleb's counterspelling it. <laughs> where, where is I would Kree? like to counterspell. <laughs> At fourth where, level. Where is Kree? Kree's over there. Next to me. Do you do other things? Yeah. Okay. I'll counterspell. Because counter Caleb's spell? not here. What's the range on counterspell? 60 feet. 60 yes. feet. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, Otis is going to counterspell your counterspell. Well, that's oh, just... Caleb, Caleb will counterspell, counterspell the counterspell. We need you! Which he would do. We would totally he do would it. Totally, I don't, I wanna, we I should wait till he gets back. I should wait till he gets back. I know. <laughs> Someone go to the bathroom and get him. Wait, no. <laughs> we need you! Get back here! Are you going to counter spell? Are you going to counter spell? What's going on? Tell me what happened, tell me what so, happened. So, Kree cast slow on that group of all of you right there. Right. Ford counterspelled it. Otis counterspelled I've his counterspell. I've been thinking counterspell for fucking hour. Counterspell! <laughs> um. <sighs> feels like we were, remember when I said I didn't want it to end? I want it to, <laughs> I, I want it to be over. <laughs> we can't stop. Um. <laughs> Who's who from their party is right up on us? That's that's Typhon. Typhon, and that's it. Is Otis real close to? O- Otis is down. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You okay. are some lucky fuckers. Oh, <laughs> I push it fuck. right to the edge. Still doesn't. Go. Oh god, damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to prepare to fire an Eldritch blast and then look into the sky and I'll point a finger up, and you'll hear the flapping of giant, ancient, white dragon wings as the dragon has returned to seek vengeance and (laughs) lands with major image. Come on. Yes. Right over here, outside of the magic cone. Kind of shakes his head. He goes, sometimes you're all a serious piece of shit, you know that? And as he glances over, you watch 
as the dragon vanishes. However, at this point, they're kind of starting to back off, and you get the sense right now that you've just barely scraped by as you all go charging into the darkness in shadow of the freezing snow in cold, exhausted, shaken, and uncertain if they're going to continue pursuit once they've rallied. We're going to go ahead and pick up next week. Oh, and then add a d4. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, she's looking at it for a long time. You rolled a one, didn't you? Oh. Did you really? <laughs> Did you really? Did you? Did you? That's you? just right. That's just, just right. right. So, the two eagles Burn it. pulling through the snow is spring by, like, like everyone, your faces are absolutely numb. You can't even feel your nose. Shit. Look down, you can see being being brought over Caleb as the eagle, and you're dropped, and suddenly Caleb's eagle just goes, out from under you, and you just plummet about 40 or so feet before poof, turning into, you could see like the gentle shape of Yasha's outline in the soft snow below as you all of a sudden just poof, overshoot where she is. Which was this thick, is but not thick. Could you pick her up and take off fight. again? All right. The shit out We're going of spite. slower, obviously, at this moment in time, so right. I, it's just gonna be arrogance. easier to get her onto Caleb. So, try it now again if you want to. Come on, we're basically like, like this. This time I have Featherfall ready. I saw, I saw okay. I never used it. Really again? It wasn't a one. <laughs> Hold on. That's a one. No, that was a two, thank you. Five <laughs> plus two is seven. Oh. Even better. <laughs> Featherfall! <laughs> Yasha's dropped. This, just, this time, God. Caleb, you undershoot and just watch her <laughs> below. But you're falling gently, <gasps> and very, very gently. <laughs> which, Caleb, if you want to, with the use of the feather fall, which does slow her descent significantly, mm. that'll give you an, it's that'll give you enough time to try and scoop up under her. Yeah. We gotta rest in one option or another, either three days to the lava flow or a day to get this thing teleported away. There's got to be resting somewhere. We just got to figure out where we're going to hide ourselves. I would take the second. I would rest and teleport it away. Then three days. If then let's go to the mountains. Out. If we can get to the top of the mountains, because we haven't seen the tomb takers fly yet, really. Right? Haven't seen them. You have not haven't seen them. Seen them. Hmm. If we get to the top of the mountains, they we might be able to get a day ahead Otis of them. Is a <sighs> Jester hates this plan. Udala, we're probably sending you something really important. Hope it shows up. Keep it secret. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> you got 10 more. I could have said keep it safe, shit. I could have said keep it, it safe, I shit. fucking both. And out. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry. Your message was still received. <laughs> oh, she thinks we lost service. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I got disconnected. Can you, can, it, uh, don't worry. Breaking up. Got the, it. The yeah. I can <laughs> hear you. I, I can hear you. I, <laughs> Backing up. All right. As you release <laughs> the spell, the arcane equations around the stone. I would like you to roll a d100 for me, please. Oh, yes. Let's go, fam. Come no on. fucking butterflies. 53. Butterflies? 53. Okay. Butterflies? Butterflies? Like in the sky. At least it's not a one. I can fly twice as high. <gasps> like driving. <laughs> it vanishes. The stone is gone. <sighs> Don't you take a drink, you motherfucker. Where did it go? <laughs> It's not going to reappear in 12 hours, is it? We're not up to this yet. I think if we can get to no, Epic, no, but we at least can get protection. Like, they won't be able to just ambush us. They'll have a whole we'll be on our own. group of people. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's so, with that, that's, makes sense. Yeah. You begin to make your way towards this valley in an east southeast direction with the intent of finding your way towards the Shadowhand Essek, Thalys. The friends of the dynasty, looking for Essek Thalon. Thalon. Thalus. Thalus. 
I didn't say Thalon, I said Thalus in game. <laughs> Sorry, my accent sucks. That is so awesome. But as the door opens, you see a figure kind of drift out. You see the familiar uh, white, short hair, uh, odd grin, um, and, and now a heavy white fur collared, kind of long purple black cloak uh, as the shadow hand Essek Thalys drifts towards you. I run over now, Gim. It's so good to see you. Uh, and everyone kind of stops and kind of gives a curious head turn. In some of the early excavations, I don't know if you've encountered these as well, but there has been some iconography and some recovered notations of the Aeoran society that resemble a Luxem beacon. Things that resemble toying with Dunamis before we were even established. <laughs> it's a lot, I know. Um, especially all in one sitting. But uh, look at it this way. It'll take your mind off things for a bit. One terrible danger totally replaced by another eminent one. You're, um, you certainly carve a unique destiny, don't you? But when you're ready, come find me. I'll be here. Maybe gather what resources you can. Other friends, perhaps. If we're going to trek into the heart of these ruins in hopes of waylaying or stopping this nonagon and bringing this nightmare over, we're going to need all the help we can get. They might melt. They yeah, will but melt. not instantly. Ford, could you make a snowball last a little bit longer? I don't think so, unfortunately. You melted 30 feet of snow. You can't make a snowball fucking last an hour? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what use are you? I'm not sure. <laughs> I, could, I could add some snow to it. It w wouldn't last longer. Mm. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll do it. <laughs> With my first, my cantrip shape water. It's the easiest fucking spell I know. I can make a snowball and make it last an hour. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was, really that was the most take, passive aggressive snowball. Strides, <laughs> relationship. Oh. The most one sided <laughs> argument. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. You hear a voice? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What's going on? Oh, nothing. How's your day going? Splendid, actually. Been spending a bit of it quite out in the south side of Port de Mali, having a Mai Tai. It's delightful. Oh, oh fuck you. Man. Hey, that sounds so good. <laughs> He's still holding it out. He's like, I thought you wanted to sip. I would, uh, Here. I don't even like alcohol. Then don't drink it. He takes it back before you get a sip out. I'm just saying, if you can teleport in. Then why why can't you just teleport us all in later? It's not that I'm teleporting. I'm just here. <sighs> You're the magic ones, silly mortals. Your hair looks good given the humidity. No, oh, thank you. Oh, the moisture does nothing to me. <laughs> Spend enough of your life around odd swimming waterfalls. It just keeps it quaffed regardless. Have you ever straightened it out? How long is it? I don't know. <gasps> Ooh, you should do it. Try it right now. No, but I like the volume. <laughs> it'll go right back, has it? I'm curious. This is the best Phil's divine intervention ever. <laughs> he's, yeah. Yeah. he's just hanging around, you're like, whoa! whoa. He snaps his fingers and the hair just goes, whoosh, and falls into this long, straight street that goes down whoa. to his ankles. He goes, whoa. whoa. All right, Axel Rose. That is impressive. <laughs> it looks terrible. Yeah. He snaps it again, <laughs> it falls back up and goes, Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. <laughs> <laughs> I will give a quick prayer to the Wild Mother to well, let's go, wild reveal, mother. reveal the right, location of the, of, the, of the hidden fortress. Oh, Everybody on. take a knee. <laughs> Gather up. Did you succeed? Did you succeed? So, just double checking. To roll either. Okay, so so you have you have the zero zero. Yes. You get that. I did. And what's the other number? Three. That's oh. a three. That's a success. <gasps> yes, 
I, I was trying not to get my own hopes up. Fair enough. That's a success. <laughs> In case it was 103. I was just staring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> eyes are starting to fail me because I'm getting old and I don't remember how math works. The yeah. hell you say. So, so, so you all watch Caduceus sits there and you go, well, Caduceus, yeah, go wild mother. And he kind of goes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, his hair blows back. His eyes just go bright white, and like like starts lifting up like Highlander for a second. Just go, Shh. You swear you can hear voices go. As he begins to just glide, the wind in the room begins to pick up. I reach over and try and grab his ankle. Lightning hits. Me. <laughs> Yes, Caduceus, there is a Santa Claus. <laughs> My hair is terrible. <laughs> it, it is a scattering bit, and you can see behind one of these rock shelves, there is what looks to be a carved tunnel where some of the snow in the rock has collapsed inward, a small like sinkhole that has opened a pathway that is not visible from the outside, but from behind and within, it seems to descend inward. And you sh- Pull back into yourself right as your feet touch the ground. The wind stops the strange divine channeling that you've never quite seen as intensely as that from Caduceus uh, leaves him there, somewhat breathless, and you have burned, seared into your mind exactly where that entrance is. Oh, amazing! Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> well. You must have. <laughs> 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 oh, just don't look, it. that's what the rest I of. love it when, yeah. when a woman I respect laughs at me for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> the tomb takers. Are they heading to find another threshold crest in a ruin? The cold temperature shifts into a a warm, if stale, air, confirming, though still with the apprehension of the the dangers that this direction eventually holds. The safe way to travel would be with a circle. Correct, to use this tower. Okay, are we going now? Sure, we could sleep there tonight instead of in this frigid dump. Should we tell Essek we're leaving? Tell him where the entrance is? Do we have maybe a, maybe not directly, is there someone we can leave word with? I'll but. send a message to his assistant. Whose name is? Uh, he's a goblin. Gentleman goblin. Sure. Gentleman goblin. Wilbur. Okay. Eagle note taker, just of a different kind. Yeah. Wensworth. 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 Fourth. Wensworth. <laughs> Wensworth. <laughs> Long time no talk. We're coming by. Things are pretty dire. We'll be there soon. <laughs> Gotta talk to you, sir. It's important. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Every good to word. know. I'll let the master know right away. As Caleb finishes the familiar scribing on the ground, you see the faint glow begin to connect as it spirals outward, and then all at once flashes across as one connected web of arcane design. And you know what to do, one by one. You all jump into the circle, feeling yourself carried somewhere between space and time and thrust towards your destination. We're gonna go ahead and end tonight's episode there. Um, you also do level up because you've been, because you've what? you've traversed across Isle Cross, survived an encounter with a dragon, with, with, the, with a dragon, with your first encounter, real encounter with the Tomb Takers, Dungeons and, and, uh, Dungeons and hit a hit what I would consider a milestone in that regard. So, oh, this is a long story that we are going to have to keep telling. You can just say you. We tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit seems to have transpired since last we met. So it's sometimes it's best not to show your hand until you absolutely need to. That's a good point. Hold that thought, and I put the gem down. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, saving throw. 
Add a D4. Oh, yeah, add a D4. Uh, oh. 26. You are rolling up there tonight, <laughs> Jesus! Yeah? Are you you? I am me. I am me. I won't be sure. Eldritch Blade. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and are you finished with your inquiry? I almost... This is kind of Marisha saying this. Wish we could weaponize this. Like, hey, Lucian, hold this stone. I don't know. Sure. Well, that would like, go probably just as poorly for us. I think so. anything that would be. Or like, yeah, yeah, just just give Halas the powers of the Nonagon. Great oh, like, Lucian. <laughs> what the fuck what are you talking about? No, like. I see what you're saying. It seems his like essence, a lot of fun, but I don't but think we can. Yeah, I see I what you're saying. I think, I think putting Voldemort like... in Skeletor is not necessarily the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, hey, I could be wrong. But, you know. Cured. When you were making your way into the anyway, Grang Wildlands uh, <laughs> residual. That was like two part harmony. Like on all three of these? Or? All three of them at the, at the end points have residual kind of facing inward as a magical focus. <laughs> Begins to push into your sinuses, and you feel like your nose is just about to burst forth with blood. Like you just have this terrible force. Like you've just been stressing your face to the point where it turns beet red, and you're about to just blow every vessel. In your face. You pooping? You pooping? <laughs> but you push through the pooping. <laughs> now there is a there is a soft focal gliding to a lot of your scrying attempts that you're used to in the past. This feels yeah. jagged and buffeted oh. by invisible winds. Oh. You get glimpses, and you feel like you're being slammed from side to side and pulled forward. It's it's like being drawn down the white rapids oh. with a barely a raft. Yeah. Are you still talking about poop? This is all pooping imagery <laughs> appropriate. No, I'm talking about the scry spell. <laughs> Gliding, was like, wind you buffeting you your the face, the white listening. rapids. <laughs> I wasn't listening to any poop reference, Matt. I was listening to your description. It was description perfect. She was fine. You were three for three, man. We were thinking of lower intestines. <laughs> the porcelain kingdom. Jagged edges. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ow. Had that peanut <laughs> No, don't write it down. No, don't write anything down. What? No, don't kill it. Don't write anything. The feeling is just splattering forth. <laughs> A warm release. Um. Alora, do you recall that strange troop you interacted with? The Mighty Nine. They may need your help. Might they pop by? Wait, what? Were you just rehearsing what you're going to say to her? Because I do that sometimes. Just finger up. Oh. Very well. If you'd like, I could send you to her chambers. Send oh. us to her? Wait a minute. Hey. Come here. We get to go there. We get to go. I where, mean, like, it's wherever where, 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 where is she located? She's located in the city of Amman in Tamdore. Mm -hmm. I've never <laughs> I am unfamiliar with an Would Amon. she be able to send us back here? Uh, yes, she would very much be able to. I mean, or could you could just return to my tower when you need to. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, a central circular uh, carpet in the center of the room. Guys. Um, <laughs> carpet? Carpet. I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a, a staircase that goes up. It, this is the bottom floor of this beautiful alabaster white tower. Oh! <laughs> it's like seeing an old friend. Oh, God. Uh, Visit your childhood home, Borg. Yeah. <laughs> Outfit a shorter, stockier female form, ah! darker skin, kind of uh, oh almost like an, like an ashen auburn hair. Um, walk down, looking a bit grumpy and kind of like ha uh, like they woke up not too long ago. And as she comes down, scratching her face, you see a little bit of a scar on one side. Kind of okay. So are these these um, these idiots and the, the these friends that were in that <laughs> weird ball thing you were mentioning? <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, you're welcome to join if you'd like. Well, I haven't had company in a while, I suppose, so hi, I'm Kimo. What's what's your thing? Hello. What's up? Hey. Hello. Hi. We are the Mighty Nine. Mm -hmm. We are right. those assholes. Acquiring attention and interest to what it is you're doing. Mm. If what you're attempting fails, and nobody knows or is ready of what may come through, then everything crumbles. 
I think I'm maybe of more use in trying to to gather others, to convince, I don't know, members of this council, convincing people from across the seas to, to be of aid and, and to be ready in case what you're tempting uh, doesn't come to pass. Who all is on the council? I wonder if it, it should well, Maybe be one day you'll meet them. Would we be, maybe we should go talk to the council. <laughs> maybe we should at least and, and go make see a, them. <laughs> make our plea. I, I say this. I like that idea, I, we, uh, Ancient white dragon. Yeah. Only there was a way to get more residuum. Sorry, sorry, had. Makima kind of kind of sits over on one one side of her her armored leg and looks to Alara and goes, "I mean, do you think?" And Alara goes, <laughs> "No, I'm not losing you again." Real dangerous, we're real scared, we're real, it's pretty dangerous. Sure could use a sword made out of platinum. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your persuasion check. <laughs> what the hell's my persuasion? We did just beat a dragon, by the way. No. Of course you did. <gasps> did you? Natural 20. Oh! Yeah! oh! <laughs> Where have these rolls You guys are ridiculous tonight! Oh, really? Really? Night. Remy, what's your friend's name? Artagan, the, the traveler? Huh. Are you a follower of the traveler? Do you know? By no means. Uh, oh. Interesting. You know, you know Artie? Uh, not personally, but I've, I've heard of his exploits before. This is the first time this has ever happened. He's wow. been very busy. But look, if we're lending stuff and Kima walks up towards Yasha, I don't know you. Fair. I, I. But I like your style. Oh, thanks. <laughs> really style. And to be fair, I don't think he could lift this, so. Probably true. I don't know what it is, but I imagine he wouldn't be able to. Probably. And she, like, takes a moment and kind of, like. Okay. She hands you the handle of the blade. The platinum greatsword? Mm hmm. Uh, really? What does it do? What does it work? Can what I give it some, some swings? <laughs> yeah. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Can I loan you one of mine for, uh, so you have something? Yes, please, that'd be great. Okay, uh, take your pick. Magician's judge or a skin gorger? <laughs> she looks at the mother and goes, skin gorger, really? I didn't name it. Okay. <laughs> Does look pretty cool though. And Alora goes like, Kima, I don't want that in a tower. <laughs> yes. I'll take the judge. Uh, I'm gonna wait two minutes and then cast message to her during the meeting. You've got it. <laughs> to me? Yeah. Okay. Are you in danger? If you are not, curse. Anything else will be interpreted as a call for help. You may reply to this message. Well, fuck. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also wanted to let you know that um, Zenoth uh, is currently being held at the Zadash Archive under arrest by the library. Zenoth? On top of um, their looking into this mess with the dynasty, Dairon had also been looking into claims that you had apparently made of being kidnapped by the Cobalt Soul and forced into your tutelage. That is not how we operate. I honestly didn't know that. And into this investigation, uh, Dairon discovered that Xenoth was the one responsible for accepting the money from your father and oversaw the acquisition of you and your forced tutelage. 
Let me please extend my sincerest apologies. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Um. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little taken aback by all of this. I gave him a lot of shit. Really hard time, if that makes, you know, you all feel any better. He did have to deal with me, so he reaped a little bit of what he sowed. That, that is good to know. And I'm glad that you found a place within the Cobalt Soul. But we would like to think that you would have found your way here regardless, and it should always have been your choice. <sighs> Sent her to boarding school. Sent me to boarding school, exactly. A boarding school that normally doesn't accept payment. It was a school admission scandal? Is that what, is that what just happened? <laughs> Correct, that is. Are From a on, privileged elite. You're on the rowing team? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he told Holy me, shit. he told me like, tell them you're a great rower, and I was like, I've never fucking rowed in my life. And you took a picture while they drew you, like. <laughs> yeah, there's no fucking rivers in Camorta. <laughs> <laughs> is that what your sta your staff is? Is an oar? <laughs> <laughs> Big backstory reveal. You dragon. You dragon. Like yeah. it can get spread around the world, and this is like a big honky one. Yeah, I said it was like the size of a cheese wheel, but like super a magical. Cheese wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, is it like how a, I would describe? I it. thought it was like <laughs> I would be like a more like a butterscotch. Like well, I said butterscotch, butterscotch candy, candy yeah. and then she's like, like a, a cheese like wheel a with vodka. You know, like a jaw. Well, I mean, it's like it depends. You know, those like Werthers that are a little wonky on what? one side. Who That's doesn't how know fantasy Werthers? <laughs> Werthers I can. Oh. <laughs> the Werthers family in Northern Rexentrum, yeah. Yeah. Yasha, the sword that you acquired. Look, it is a beautiful weapon. Beautiful weapon. Um, I'm trying to spend some time with it, but as soon as you try and, and connect with and utilize that power, it resists. Leaving you with a faint sense of rejection. Uh, so, tomorrow night, if we're going to be in Nicodranas, mm -hmm. I kind of like to do the date thing, you know, with, with Yasha. Yeah, let me uh, do the math on that. Uh huh. So I was just wondering if you know, yeah, we're gonna be in Nicodranas, but I kind of have this big idea for the tower. If we could still borrow it for the night. The whole tower. Yeah. <laughs> you want the whole tower? Well, I mean, other people can like you know, but like it, I, No, no, no. I, I, I'm like, into if it. If other people want to like, t t you know, stay in their rooms, but as long as they stay in their rooms. But I don't have to. You know, I don't want to be. What if you took the whole tower? I would love to take the. Whole Okay. Yeah. Do not go poking about the eighth floor. I promise you I will not go poking about the eighth floor. Okay, good enough. Hey, uh, if I wanted to make some adjustments to it, how do I like get those to you? <laughs> do I like, should I write them down and, <laughs> you know, just like the little tweakies, the little, just little ones for the night, yeah, just for sure. the night. Um, do you want to write those out for me? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. And I'll just slide it over to you. Uh, get it to me in the morning. Okay, okay. And I will, you know, think on it, process it, get it ready. Thank you. With the old imagination. Can the cats be ninjas? <laughs> just like five of them, not all of them. There's, there's a few ways to interpret that. Do you want cat ninjas, or do you want ninjas instead of cats? <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I don't like to tinker with the the size of the um, the transportation system for them, so I would prefer that most of them be smaller ninjas, <laughs> if okay. they're to be ninjas. But maybe you mean ninja cats. Well, I don't want to feel like I'm punting a cat. I want to be able to, like, you know, just f t uh, have fun fighting some ninjas. You want to fight, fight ninja. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of them. So top of the list. <laughs> That's fucking big. Shinobi That's in the big. tower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I have a bunch of other stuff too. Not a bunch, just like a handful of other things. I want to fight. <laughs> okay. Okay. It can be done. Okay. But sleep great, on it. Great date. Right. <laughs> Tell me if you need the cats removed for the evening. I got an idea for that. Okay. You look ahead and see, placed within the dirt and stone. A familiar platinum blade. 
and it radiates warmth, and you begin to hear thunder rolling in the distance. Clouds begin to swell in the sky. <laughs> Flashes. The rain begins to pour. You see a face emerge. Eyes of crackling lightning. A stern brow. A bearded face made of cloud. You found your strength, Yasha. Now. You must learn to use it. You are not an implement of others. You've broken those chains. You are an avatar of the Storm Lord. I work through you, but your strength is your own. You've begun the first steps, but you must earn this one. And the clouds darken, and you slip into darkness. So you hope for another night of similar comfort. And when the shadow takes you, not one, but two red eyes Appear in shadow around you. Another finds us. Finds us. Finds. Finds. Finds their way home. 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 The two eyes drift around, peering from different angles as you sit there, floating in shadow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. We dream with you. Dreams are the first step. 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 We can make dreams into anything. Anything. Into everything. Together. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth eye. You hear the screams again. We'll end the episode there tonight. Oh. Oh. Mm. Wow. oh my god. That was so creepy sounding oh. mad. Dude, oh, thank you. What? Do <laughs> you just like crack I this goosebumps? Episode? So wow. This episode <laughs> had everything. <laughs> it, it had oh, shit. with a brief investigation of Caleb, you see what looks to be a second <laughs> red eye has apparated in kind of the center of the shoulder blades. And notice beneath kind of uh, Ford's undershirt, this like faint red glow that just ever so carefully catches your eye at this proximity, right across kind of where the sternum is poking outside of the shirt. Yeah, so I can see why you're good looking. When we were in the quick hurry to get away, um, Lucian, while keeping his eyes on you, sort of did a back swipe with his scimitar, and when he did this, like arcane circle appeared on my chest and it burned real bad. And I only thought of it this morning because you guys have two more of those eyes. And so I just didn't know if you might know anything about that. What? I yelled, don't move. And I slap him really hard in the tit. <laughs> ah, 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 oh, no, my nipple's hard. Ah, ah. What if, what if you know how strong the forces are we're dealing with? I slap him in the tit again. <laughs> ah, magical tit. <laughs> It's what, one thing that I learned in my youth is that after a great deal of pain, whack! Oh! <laughs> it's an outline really good right afterward. It's just the endorphins. Yeah. I should sign that. I could try to uh, rub it out. <laughs> well, that didn't work with Bo, so. <laughs> How many hands do you need for that? I don't even need my hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> for. I already forgot what you wanted to say. <laughs> Don't, that doesn't count. I haven't sent the message yet. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sending the message now. Cornelius. Caduceus here. 
we've been doing things creepy shit. <laughs> is everything we've where's the punctuation is this <laughs> <laughs> shit are we <laughs> stop clubbing baby feel yeah. oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> that sounds like you're trying to tell his parents you've been <laughs> getting involved with their son there <laughs> heading back how are things there creepy shit too how's the Woods. Let me know. <laughs> a lot of umlauts in that message. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> we need to go to the dance hall. The dance hall. The dance hall. The dance hall. The Oopstone dance hall. Yeah. I'm gonna I send a message to Astrid. When should I tell her to meet us? Oh, the um, man. <coughs> Dusk. Uh, Sure. Dusk. Caleb wants to talk to you. It's important. Important. <laughs> Meet us at the dance hall at dusk. Tell nobody. Keep it secret from you know who. <laughs> A brief moment before you get a response. Donka, I'll be there. Please uh, tell Caleb. Thank you. I sort of asked Yasha out on a date. So did I. <laughs> I kind of knew. I'm sneaky that way. And I'm excited for you. Do you think you're going to finally, you know, do it? I, not not it, but like go on a date. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Do you think you're gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> no expectation. I need a shower. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. She's, you know, oh, Jorhasian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, like, I don't think Jorhasian <laughs> ladies shave the pits or anything, you know? <laughs> Good lady. <Yeah. laughs> oh. Okay. Just, just plan a moment. Just have a moment ready where you can say something or do something that shows how you feel. I'm trying to channel Caduceus here, but I feel like if you open yourself and just are honest uh, and open and vulnerable, okay, you could be likable. <laughs> <laughs> I could be likable. Um, before you dig in deeper, I, one last thing I wanted to do is yes. before this moment, I would have run off to the loo to cast Fortune's Favor on myself. To rub one out. To rub one out. <laughs> you gotta prep hey, before the date. You can cast <laughs> Fortune's Favor anywhere on your person. <laughs> you don't wanna go in loaded. Heroism. <laughs> Geometric shapes. Uh, would you like to dance, huh? Fuck off, kid. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the entryway, you see kind of stepping in a uh, female figure wearing a casual dark gray, looks like a, a short robe with a mantle over top and a hood. She kind of pulls it back just a little bit and glances about. You can see the familiar lightish hair tumble past the eyes as they meet yours. And she beelines across the chamber. If there is any love left between us, I need more of these. And I um, just lay my head against her head and dance for a moment. 
but I need enough of these for my friends. For a few weeks, maybe. And she just leans into your ear. You're just kind of cheek to cheek, not even looking at each other. I'll see what I can do. Just know there are eyes on you. Which means either we're walking into their trap or you beat them at their own game. You watch her exit and head out. I follow. Mm. Okay. I, across the beams, slink down one of the walls, trailer <laughs> out the front entrance a little bit. Within this side pocket, you see her now kind of back against the wall, sitting on the ground, knees close to the chest, and she's just kind of curled up in a ball. About five or six minutes or so. Does she seem deeply conflicted, clearly? Or like, what? what is her? Good. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Deeply conflicted? I don't know. Not to be projecting or, it, or, or, or anything. Or is yeah. yeah. Make an inside check. It's hard to tell, but she spends a good five, six minutes or so sitting there. Is she just crying? Kind of She's crying, isn't she? She's crying, you guys. Okay. It's hard to tell. Just me today. Fun. Um, okay. So you know how Caleb was just talking to Astrid and she was like saying all these contradicting things and saying they know that we're here. Is she setting us up for a trap? <sighs> it's challenging when individuals are duplicitous by nature, at least by the teachings they've undergone. I can't straight out tell you what a person's feeling, but I can gather she's certainly an opportunist. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Anything you guys want to ask him? What? Smacks your tip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and now you all can see it. Oh, Archie! Archie! Oh! God! What all the cool so kids wrong. were doing it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the Grove Oh, man. This would be a for now, if you are all right with this, we stay here tonight, like you said. We reach out to her again tomorrow, see if anything can be gleaned. Okay. Uh, he pulls out Kaliana's wand and sits on the ground and starts to begin the process for creating the tower here in this shitty um, sheep's quarters. Now, I regret to inform the majority of you and myself, that we will in fact be sleeping in this shithole. Beauregard, Yasha, the tower is yours. Oh, we're doing this <coughs> tonight? <coughs> we're doing this tonight. Oh, yes. What, 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 are you, what are we doing tonight? I push Yasha into the door. I pull ah. out my fly, Yasha, she's gone. You can do this. Is that a flower? <laughs> Jet guiding you to the door. There I'm going to go on a date. There Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Stand. Wow. Uh, Shall we? Sorry, I thought you were giving me something new on my hand. I, it's been a minute. Uh, wait. I fell in love with you in Komorda. I, I look at the dachshunds behind me. I just, <laughs> that just came out so fast and I didn't know that was gonna come out right then. Um, I say that, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, ooh. I don't have expectations either, but I really care about you and I just, I hope, if anything, that you know I'm, I'm so proud of the person that you've become. Just seeing where you started and where you are now, and you have completely done that on your own. And 
and I just, I'm, you blow me away. Oh, I want to kiss you so bad. I want to kiss you so bad. Okay. I was about to ask you. I jump all over. I kiss her. <laughs> Clad uh, humanoid figures with Doberman pincer heads. Yes, Beauregard, yes! these are the ninjas you requested. Yes! <laughs> I need you both roll Best initiative. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this make a pretty good team. Yeah, we oh. fucking do. <laughs> do we? Do we have more stops? Oh, oh, no. that are here dim 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 and you once again earn a little small intimate pocket of light in this giant chamber and then you start to see illusory fireworks oh. in the dark God. above you and as you look at each other's faces in this hot tub you see those lights reflected on each other's beautiful faces reds and blues and greens fade off and we'll go ahead and finish tonight's episode there. Mm. Oh! <laughs> the rest of the group sits outside. It smells like farts out oh. here. <laughs> I just, as, as we fall asleep, I just slap forward on the tit. <laughs> <laughs> I start to cry just a little. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. I send a message to Astrid. Hello. Call it. Have you procured the items? If so, meet us. Hold on! <laughs> by, by the school. By the school! That's not specific. Yes, it is. Uh, um. Anyway. Don't fuck us over. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <clears throat> For the night, and I have uncovered where the bulk of the Bolstock collection of unused velas are. Um, they are, however, currently kept in a small vault under the northwest tower on the grounds of the Vergessen Sanatorium. You, as she says this, you see she leaves a casual, uh, casually leaves on the bench next to her this small wooden case. She kind of puts her arm over it for the time being. Um, I unfortunately lack the knowledge of the teleportation rune that is anchored there. Uh, Master Ikathon tends to keep that under his control. Um, I also lack the means of breaking into the vault. Uh, in my presence, there, and attended by Trent, would probably raise suspicion. Otherwise, I would go myself. Do you have any idea where the old man is today? I do not keep his day-to-day. -day. Okay. It is much appreciated. Consider it um, a meager start to an apology. I would recommend, while the sun is out, um, at night, more often than not is when Trent, when he's to attend the sanatorium, that would be when. Caduceus is staying out here. I, I don't mean to imply that you are, but do you have other magical means of communicating? <clears throat> no. Like, could you make an earthquake that shakes the earth around us or something and lets yes, us know? Yes, I could actually do that. That's true. I can actually do that. Wow, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I can sense. Maybe there's a pond. Can they would we, know if there was a pond. Can we come up with slightly cooler team names than team inside and team outside? Like, sure. it would be like, you know, team, team Firestorm and team... Audi. What? <laughs> Like an innie and an Audi, like a like a, like a belly button. <laughs> okay, done. Team. If we're gonna have code names, we should have <laughs> code words. Okay. Something for if it's going well. Something if it's oh shit, come get us. And something for we're coming up. If it's going bad, we'll say, um, right. oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. 
Mm. It's a, a code word, like a singular fuck, fuck word. This is the the, if it's going bad. Good. Maybe something you don't use as a comma. It's on the context. You do, you, you do tend to fuck it up a bit when you're yeah. messaging. Oh. It okay. accounts for 26% of your words, do those spells. <laughs> What's something you'd never say? Avocado. Sarsaparilla. No, that's that sarsaparilla I don't say. You remember that, though? Yeah, yeah. totally. Okay. Sarsaparilla's good. It's bad? Sarsaparilla is bad. No, I mean, it's fine if you like. No, but I missed that. Is that what I'm saying? I no. like sarsaparilla very much. So sarsaparilla means everything's okay. Actually, yeah, sarsaparilla is good. Sarsaparilla is good. It is. You ever have it? It's great. How about, <laughs> it's an acquired taste, but how about licorice is bad? I was going to say licorice, what bad? Because it's terrible. It's it is awful. terrible. Who likes no, licorice? Licorice no, is not bad. Not many people. My Put it in tea, but it's got to be covering Blech. a bunch of Get other out. stuff. Licorice, <laughs> bad. Sarsaparilla, good. Do you really? What is... It's like licorice, yeah. Licorice <laughs> means... I mean, I like ah. Jaeger. It's like dirt. This one's like Jaegermeister, right? Minty dirt. Oh, no, I love it. No. You got yeah, Nanise? Yeah, I love that flavor. Get out of here. No, you can't be perfect. Jaeger bomb. Jaeger bomb. Uh, word. It's usually like, if it's good, just shut the fuck then, up. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's we're leaving it at high speed? What's yeah. we're leaving at high speed is... Red Hot. Fart Storm. Red, red, red Hot. hot. Red, hot. Mm. <laughs> red Hot. Red Hot. Red Hot. Red okay. Hot. What to say? Red okay. Hot. Red Hot. Are we going to remember all? Wait, Taco Sarsaparilla. Taco Taco sarsaparilla. Good. Licorice, red I hot. feel like this is licorice. overly complicated. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Very nope. much. Look, we, we are doing right by the <laughs> Cerberus <laughs> Assembly, okay? <laughs> Into the wall. Yeah. You only have one. We'll aim for the middle so it'll be right across from that doorway. Yeah. 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 You could also get that little, that little, why am I doing it there? <laughs> that, that, that little, uh, this is not helping. There we go. That little edge between the tower and the, and the wall, so you have like a little. Did you hit the TV? We were too busy laughing. Of course, I hit the TV. <laughs> you gotta take that point back, Tal. What'd you say? <laughs> I knew what he was talking about. Well, thank you. Yeah. I just knew you were lasering a large screen TV. What am I doing up there? I'm trying to distract people who are watching an X-Men movie. Okay. There's a... I like that you were holding it up high. Yeah. Like I... Anyone attack anybody. Like, okay. Are you on Team Firestorm and Muscle? N no, I'm on. I'm, I'm, in an, I'm in Audi. Team Audi. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is killing me today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Are I you passing this. the doorway? And the rest of you watch as Beauregard just vertically sure. up at the top. Makes sense. And I'm just gonna like tumble, roll, and flatten onto the, <laughs> the roof. Okay. 15 guards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're all sunbathing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not 15. Perennial. But there is one. <gasps> there is one? You, you roll over and look just to your left, and you see a guard that is currently kind of perched on the edge, looking over down into the courtyard with a heavy crossbow kind of in his lap. He's, he's uh, not sitting in a chair, just kind of sitting on the ground. He does not know I'm here yet. He does not, at the moment, seem to notice you. Get that garrot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you didn't plan for this? Uh, <laughs> no. Did we ever? In the I, in, in the time that you are lying on your back, holding perfectly still, <laughs> just staring at the bed, just boring a, ho a, a hole <laughs> into the back of this guy's head. What do I do? Just do do? clutching the stone quietly <sighs> with your passive perception, you do hear a very faint sound. What? He's asleep. He's napping at his post. Somebody. Good boy. You finish casting the spell and immediately he goes and looks right up at you. Does he smile? Drops the food on the plate. Hi. Well, can I help you? <laughs> hey, is there anyone else down here with you? Um, yeah, we've got a few posted around. Um, what, what, what are you doing here? Uh, anybody in this room? Nobody's in this room. Just you? It's just just me at the moment. Yeah, I was just keeping watch. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just come down and stand next to him for a minute. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, uh, Fiona. <laughs> oh. Um, hold on. I'm gonna see exactly what the spell does now that I cast her. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, I mean, they've all got the, their work to do as well. Yeah. Um, is there like a secret code that would get them like dismissed for a while, like go to lunch or something, relieve them? Don't really do secret codes here. Oh, really? 
No, sorry. <laughs> Worst um, first date ever. Is there? Should we? I'm. I'm just gonna have my friends come down here. I have a couple of friends with me. Okay. Oh, uh, we're not supposed to have other people down here. But it's okay. For you, I'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> come on. Oh. oh. Oh, is this the boy you were telling us about? Yeah, yeah, he's oh. wonderful. He seems visibly uncomfortable with your presence, but he's allowing it for her. And then suddenly, silently, without a word, gets pulled up into the ceiling. Now the, there is sound as his metal hits the stone above and oh. cranks up. The actual metal is crushed inward. You watch as blood begins to just kind of oh. flop out of the armor. <laughs> Uh, and then, it hits the ground. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's fine, you know what? What happened? I don't even know. I should check that, it's my no, job. No, you should, you should hang out with me. You're right, okay. Because <laughs> he's charmed, he stays. You recycled him. <laughs> I just gotta look at Caleb. <laughs> Cast a, a, a quick message to, to Bo saying, Sasparilla Icarus! <laughs> <laughs> and as that happens, we cut over to you, still there on the top of the tower. I just go, same. <laughs> and upon hearing this, I'm just gonna roll over. I'm gonna very quietly crawl. And I wanna get behind this guy. And in this time, I'm pulling out these two acid vials that I got from Beth a long time ago. Okay. And maybe a dagger, and I'm just having it ready, and I'm just waiting. Okay. You're setting out tools? <laughs> like, that's an option? <laughs> Not sure which. Like a fucking serial killer. <laughs> you Dexter in a sleeping room. Straight girl. up. White gloves. <laughs> only, only the most fucked up assassins kill their, <laughs> their victims with acid. He wakes up and as like, they're like, why acid or a dagger? <laughs> I don't know how this is going to play out. Oh, I'm no. so excited for this. Yeah. The uh, uh, Your new friend, Jester, is like, He's getting nervous. Look over. She's like, oh, I, "I really should get to work. There, there's some <laughs> your friends are knocking around over there." Yeah, they just like to have some fun sometimes. I say with like a tear forming in my eye. <laughs> don't don't cry. Don't cry. You, you know, should have some fun too. You deserve it. You do too. You deserve to have some fun. Thank you. You know, I'm so glad that I came in this room first because I really like you, Kaimi. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I like you too. I like you. You know, the show's not too bad. Ignore that, we're doing fine. Just be ready to buff us out of here. Oh, hey. Okay. Uh, Beauregard, what are you doing? So, is, he still, is he still sleeping? Well, as or you're, sta as there you're any... standing there, you feel this very, very faint with your high perception. Yeah. Just this like low sub bass rumble, and you feel the stone just ever so faintly shift. The, guy, the, guy, the guy in front of you goes, <laughs> And it sounds like he's stirring. Stirring. Love it. Can I open mouth snorer? <laughs> you, you assume by the sound, yeah. probably though facing away from you. <laughs> I've been prepping my acid vial. Oh, oh, you're I'm, I'm, you're so sick happy. I'm gonna palm both of them. They're both open, and just get in front of them, and then kind of in one fell swoop. Grab his nose, kind of CPR grab, and dump the acid vial oh. into his head, <laughs> and then kind of do the like get, get him down. Okay. Get him down. Make an athletic make, him make an athletics check. <laughs> Natural seven. Okay. Nope. Full. That's the most oh. Marisha thing you've done. As like. you as you <laughs> hold him, up. you hear. <laughs> and just. <laughs> kind of, I I roll my body on top of his face to try and stifle the noise. It takes a while. That's the worst part. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, well. is, this is the harshest. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> I'm just, and I'm just trying to keep him as fucking quiet as possible. Where are the bad guys? Where are the baddies? Over to the edge, and I try to signal forward and team Audi. With? 
baseball. Um, baseball signals and just say like, I'm just repeating it. I'm just busy making like am, a daisy am I, while I've been waiting. Oh, Bo's gonna love this. I think this. something's wrong. Am I, am I, do, I, do I see any of this shit going down or? I'm just gonna, Look and I do the Ford, I do the Ford. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Alarms. It's the sound of the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I heard. <laughs> there aren't alarms in Alexandria. <laughs> like that. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> because she does do this and points, I'll kind of look mm, in the direction. Yeah. Do I can see a group of soldiers that are emerging from one of the nearby kind of hedge openings heading towards this structure. How far away are they? Mm. You don't see them. Oh, fuck. Um, they are about 50 or so feet from the structure. They are being led by a figure oh, who is no. walking with a very brisk pace. You see these like long red robes oh, with no. kind of like gold trim. You see longish <laughs> oh, no. gray white hair that is just flowing like behind with purpose as he's kind of beelining it there. Uh, Trent Ikathon is rushing towards this chamber. Fucking right. Astrid. I'm going to use. Uh, my channel divinity and a marine layer will start to slowly permeate One. through the woods One. around myself, Yasha, and Caduceus. Great. Mm -hmm. And I will cast major image 120 feet. Um, if we are here at this corner mm -hmm. in the opposite direction and against the wrought iron fence, you will see tearing out from the trees a red dragon <laughs> comes up and smashes up against the wrought iron fence, fire breathing through, bellowing, and the, the fence rattling. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. Turns and keeps walking. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do this, I hope it works. And I'm gonna cast a word of recall as soon as I'm Caleb. I'm touching Caleb and, and, and Beth. Okay, you cast word of recall. Hi, see you in Nicodranas. Oh, shit. it doesn't work. <gasps> no in or out with that kind of stuff, maybe. And as as you kind of can't figure out what's happening, no, 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 no. You hear from the top of the stairs. Oh God! He's, he counterspells. Oh. Well, if this isn't extremely curious, and we're gonna end the episode. <laughs> This is not good. Oh, no, it's not. Fuck! Well, I am quite curious as to what brings you here. I don't know if we're still in uh, the order, but I throw um, firebolt at him. Oh, God. Okay. As soon as the spell is, uh, the wall is down, I'm not done. Okay, so yeah, so that that would be his turn was dispelling and then walking down. Yeah. You take your turn. The back of Caleb, and I'm just gonna try to word of recall again. My last big spell. Okay. Counterspell to you. You have to say counterspell so I can counterspell you. Right, I'm, I'm getting to it. Oh, God. Um. All right, so at what level do you counterspell? Third. Third level? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. Oh. He did. Of course. I rolled a natural 20. Oh! No! That's reaching towards the spell as you react and counter it with your own. As they both hit, it's like two waves of similar energy hitting and then canceling out nothing. Absence. Everything that he released fails. And as the cloak begins to swirl around to grab both of you, he goes. Good luck. You taught me well. It's the last thing you say before. <gasps> They need to take a vacation right now with these medallions. Oh my god, my mom. <gasps> vacation could be good. Yeah. Oh my god, my mom. What? I know where we can send her. <gasps> to the gentleman? <laughs> Parent <laughs> trap? Yeah. Sorry, guys, you have to stay together for your own safety. I feel like we've done enough uh, damage today. <laughs> 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 uh, Perfect. Uh, and, uh, friend. Mm -hmm. 
Who are those those two over there? They're giving me the the heebie-jeebies over by the door. I don't know. Should I go talk to them? Um, trying to keep it low key, but we're probably being followed, and they're giving me a giving me a weird vibe. In their face. Uh, I, I don't even know where I'd go. <sighs> Look. <laughs> This is so stupid, and you're going to think I'm trying to do something here. But I think you'd be safe. I think you'd be safe with a gentleman. I think you'd be safe with Papa. I know, I know. And I haven't even asked him, I haven't talked to him at, at all, but he has an underground safe house. He's secret, nobody knows about it. It's the safest place I can think of. We'll probably be staying here tonight, I think. I don't know, I haven't talked to everyone, but... Okay, I can have rooms prepared. I need some time to... I know. Oh. I need some time to think. Um... <laughs> and she kind of cups your face again and kind of just gives you a little kiss in the nose and... <sighs> what have you done? I'm sorry. I'm not angry, I just, just worry about you. Yeah. You are looking like you're helping bust tables, which <laughs> as you're doing that, uh, Carlos from behind the bar kind of glances over and goes, puts this down and starts walking over towards you. Oh shit. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, excuse me. Uh, who are you? Oh, I, I'm I'm new. I'm new here. I'm just sort of. I'm uh, responsible for all the hires of the establishment. I have not met you before. If you are going, right, right. I need you to leave. <laughs> just some weirdo who started busing. Yeah, <laughs> this dude just walks in and just starts cleaning tables and taking shit. Do we even fill out the application? <laughs> yeah, are you are you hiring? <laughs> what? Are you, not anymore. You can't just walk into an establishment yeah. and start yeah. pretending like you yeah. work there. Who do you think you are, Steven Spielberg? <laughs> Deep cut. Hold on. Deep cut. I'll, I'll just, Jeff, uh, uh, how did I get in here? And I'll just start walking the way I came from. <laughs> oh, uh, we're just passing through. This is a place of drinking and sitting, right? It was. Yeah, but some of my patrons don't take kindly to your stares. So I ask again, do you have any particular business or do you need to find drinks elsewhere? As Blue begins to kind of muscle in arms on the table and goes, I'm gonna ask you both to leave. And they both kind of look at each other and one goes, but we just want another drink. And Blue leans up and goes, Sorry to bother you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And begins to make his way back to the stairs. Uh oh. Does you see Carlos over there going, Go on! Sorry. Shoo. Yeah, uh, so, you sure? You, you don't need any extra. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you already made a bad impression. I, and I hate to have to make a scene in front of all of my customers, but. This is a fine establishment. The proper so, channels, uh, all right. I, yes. I appreciate your time, thank you. Can I get you a drink? Do you need a refill? No drink. Um, the other one looks to the other figure. You see that they have kind of different heights and the smaller one just kind of leans forward and goes, look, there is no conflict to be had here. We are just trying to convey a message to Bren. To Bren. And at this point, you recognize the voice speaking in a Dwendalian Zemnian accent. A female uh, voice. Female. Something you've heard before at a dinner table. Mm hmm. We have been dispatched to cut you all off. We are here to let you know in the short time we have 
that you need to go. Holding is compromised. You'll hear from us in the coming days. Go, please. All right, let me finish closing. Let's. All right, you guys head out the back door, kind of out into the street. Um, I would like you all to make a stealth check. Make a stealth check, please. I'm closer to the tower. That's where we take a break. Yeah. Oh my you god. You bastard. Oh, just won't stop. It just won't We've been stop. playing this for years. It's make believe. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, my heart is my, my so cardiovascular crazy. disagrees. Yeah. Me too. This is what I have worried about since the first day we set foot in Nicodranas and it is happening. Yeah. Um, at which point the door opens up and you can see uh, the goblin face of Winsworth kind of poking through. Hey, come on in, come on in. Yep, yep. Out of okay. the way! Run, 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 run. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. It is uh, actually quite tense, so well, he's doing something it is really worth interrupting. I understand that. Um, he's not reachable at the moment. Um, is he in the ball? He didn't go back in the ball, did he? No, no, no. Um, he, uh, after your previous conversation, he was going to go on sort of a, as he put it, a, an information gathering excursion into the astral plane. Oh, wow. Um, oh, boy. So, and you see him kind of going up the stairs and kind of giving a, a, a follow me. In the middle, there is a comfortable reclined chair. And they're kind of laying in it, kind of hands folded in the front, lying back, eyes closed, is Yusa. And um, when Sorth kind of goes up to and grabs the arm and kind of shakes. Master! Master! Uh, it's good company! Master! You see what looks to be a, a cylindrical uh, silver or at least polished metal case about that long. It looks almost like a cigar, if you will. Um, and he goes, Ah, uh, this was a gift to the master from the uh, Pansophical. And he just like oh, throws it in the ground. Oh. The glass case shatters open. The emblem scatters across the ground in the middle. Thing kind of rolls and stops against some of the broken glass. And he kind of, ah. Do you have any knowledge of You did that. <laughs> draconic, or a variation of Draconic. Um, and it is it is a spell scroll. Yeah. It is a plane shift plane spell Plane shift scroll. is what I thought. Mm -hmm. And this uh, tuning fork, I think, is going to take us someplace hot, but not quite as hot as this place. So who wants to go to hell or the plane of fire, or I'm not entirely sure. It's back. <laughs> I have a terrible idea. It better be a good, terrible Blow idea. Blow up the tower? We can what? hide. We can hide them in the one place we know they won't be able to find them. In the ball. Oh. Just for a little while. <laughs> Wait, do this. <laughs> Wait. What if some of us went in the ball and then we could carry it as an object through this plane shifting thing? <laughs> That's not actually. Both of those are good ideas. Yes. I don't remember how to get out of the ball. <laughs> and are there? The are there but you see. do hear. <laughs> Was that? That's What's the that door. Something? Somebody's at the door. Okay. We just need time. to go. We just need to go. I'll go in the ball. We're doing the ball, or we're doing the split skis? Go in the sewers. Or do we just talk to them? No. No, we're not talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there just in case. As because you kind of trace the elements here, and there are multiple solutions to this in some degree, but the one that you know, and at least will bring you to a familiar space, you go ahead and start shifting the things. Um, Eventually, the ball clicks in, and at that point, I toss it to Ford and say, "Turn that dial on the end, and then press in on the bottom." Ready? Be back, safe. Back three, right? Boom, 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 boom. Them two. All right. Look, watch Just this. Up. One, two, three. Yeah. You. It is a six-second casting time. Okay. Um, <gasps> oh my can, god! I think I can steal a few things from the room. <laughs> so as you as as you complete the final bit of the puzzle, it clicks in. The light brightens up, and you, there is a sudden flash, and everyone who is in the proximity of Ford, who had chosen to go into the sphere, are gone, and the ball just kind of ting, 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 I run over, the grab the ball. I'm holding onto the ball. All right. Um, and you are currently going through the scroll. Yes. Reading and reading it. As you're reading it, the fork is heating up and heating up and heating up, 
and it almost begins to, to burn your hand as you're kind of like pulling it down. But it's a pain you're familiar with. And as you go to complete the spell, the door entryway kind of opens up, and you see they're kind of darting in. You see Astrid, who looks over and kind of hand out. You 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 know the 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 presence here. This this is this is the the at the ready for a counter spell. Hmm. You finish reading. The rod begins to glow brightly, and all of you feel yourselves being pulled from this reality as her hand goes limp. Oh, she let us go. Again. It's like Rolf in Sound of Music. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin with Team Happy Fun Ball, shall oh, we? I want to know where they're going. Uh, okay. We'll find oh, out. Boy, oh, pickle. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. boy. Inside of an Astro Dread Bat. <laughs> Team Happy Fun Ball has a fun ring to it, though. Yeah. So. Out. And touch it. You touch the book. Can I pull it off the shelf? You can, or you try to, as you pull. <coughs> it's tethered. There is a chain on the back end, and as you tug it, you hear something else in the chamber. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> Three right. Uh, is that that's supposed to happen? This mm -hmm. is normal. Mm -hmm. that's okay. Normal. That's good. I start running back towards the middle, and I'm like, <laughs> one more. I head down the other way. <laughs> All right. As you're doing that, you begin to hear both of you this distant shattering sound. Were you with the kind of the glitzer on the base of it? What do you run up? Don't be there. I headbutt it. Yep. Nothing. <laughs> what are you trying to do here? I'm gonna back at this. You, it, You've it, cast it, it once happened. and it's gone. Cast it again. I'm gonna back at this first level again. <laughs> but I like that you did a headbutt at first. Ow! <laughs> As no, the no, no, singular no, no, trickle no, no, of no, no, blood no, no, drips no, no, down no, no, your forehead. <laughs> uh oh. What is that? What is that? Uh oh. The, the catch hole. The chamber is collapsing. He's coming. What is it? Oh, it sounds like a what turtle. I can see your vibrator. That's like Travis's personal massager. Yeah. Oh jeez. Don't die. Don't die. Is that a live wire? What was that? Something spinning up over here. Interesting. Do you have a motor for your for your fog machine? I don't have a, I haven't used it in a while, so no. Yeah, it sounds like it's for the fog machine. Or it might have been okay. something they got accidentally got. I don't know. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. It's spinning? Yeah, something, or whatever. Hang on, let's, uh, can we on. have a TD, or sorry, can we have Jeremy? I got it. I got it. Or, oh, 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 it? oh, oh. I got it, I turned off up here. It looks like they was plugged in a thing. <laughs> oh, gotcha, thanks. Even though, Yay! Just the, Just the live the experience. Full press. Yeah. Got the big glowing sphere, you touch it, boom. Let's do it, I run up. Pop the pedestal. Touch the sphere. Bow just <gasps> appears to atomize. No. Yep. Go. Yes. Let's go. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you, the three of you vanish. And now we move to the other group. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> the theories on a pattern of change begin to kind of peek through in some of the notes. A slow shift in the structure between the planes, and a possible sudden shift in the cosmic tapestry down the road. And you can see a lot of these notes. There's a combination of worry and excitement gleaned from them. This person is just pontificating about possible cosmic events down the road that could be catastrophic or very exciting and unique. Remaking of the cosmos. Wow. But they're all theories. Okay. Hey, Caleb. Uh, yes? When you get done, oh, can you read Infernal? Uh, oh, you can, can if you give it some time. Yeah. When you get done with your dumb, you should totally look at this book because I think you would really like it. It's about all these different plays. Oh. And okay. As you're kind of sitting there keeping an eye out, little Luke kind of creeps up next to you and kind of follows your eye line. <clears throat> see anything? <laughs> yeah. What do you see? I don't know. Me neither. It's worrisome. Yeah. What do you smell? 
I was like, farts. <laughs> <laughs> Does. <laughs> Is that you? I mean, probably, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I like your face. Oh, thank you. I like how, how tall you are. It's nice. <laughs> uh, what do you hear? Farts. <laughs> Try and just listen for one at a time. That's the trick. <laughs> I gently let one go. It's <laughs> just laughing. Uncle Deucey. He'll go far. <laughs> Do you think we would investigate, like, because most sort of private for hire sort of detectives investigate, like, Oh, I think she's cheating on me. That's sort of like boring stuff. Are you interested in that? I mean, I like the high profile cases, you know what I mean? I agree. Yeah. I like I don't wanna I don't wanna just be like tracing tracking some guy Murder. And, and catching him, you know, fondling some person yeah, no, in the alley. Awful. I don't care it's about boring. that. No. Murder, Murder espionage Kidnap Grand Theft Carriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. All right. <laughs> By what will do you disturb oh, the sanctum? <laughs> At this point, you realize your conversation may have gotten a bit loud, and this voice emerges from the space around you, sounding like a roaring, crackling fire and a dense wind filled with sand and dust battering the side of a rock-filled oh, valley. Yes. And see that <laughs> darts into the tunnel like a reverse backdraft. <laughs> Past us? Is it begins yep. to curl down, and as it does, its its arms kind of clutch inward. The flames begin to darken, and you see in the center of its core, the light gets brighter and brighter as it's oh, like God. spinning core. <laughs> as it releases an inferno in the space around it. Oh no! Is that is that the babies and Mama? And it's a fifty foot radius, so we'll see. Oh boy, that's that gets both of you. Yeah. Oh, oh no. You guys. Oh god. So. Matt's out here killing kids. <laughs> <laughs> 39 points of fire damage to everybody. Any everybody make a dexterity saving throw. Like that us me too? And, in me the hallway? And Beth too? Or we're in the hallway. Did it yeah, get us? It's it got you guys too because you're right within the radius. <laughs> You hear Marion scream. And is so gone, gone forever? Gone? Oh, it's small. Oh. Oh. It's worse. <laughs> My apologies, it's actually worse for you all <laughs> than originally thought. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Matt was taking mercy on us for a second and going, I Taking forgot. Final form. I actually just killed him. Where's the so, truck? Yeah. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Gotta stop letting him wear pajamas. So then, as you rush across the way, <laughs> to see if my son is still there. You come around the corner and you can see Marion is holding uh, Luke, who is currently lying still in her arms, uh, skin badly burned. So the caduceus's heel did not affect? Apparently it did not. It, really? Yeah. Why? It, because his damage was so great that it knocked him immediately, so no. it didn't do anything. If you take damage beyond a certain threshold yep, in a single right. hit. So we're going to need to fix this when this so is done. So he's unrevivable. Dead, dead. Well, he's revivifiable. I, mean, he's, he's I can do it when it's quiet. He is currently not moving, not breathing. Oh my god. So that's okay. your movement. <clears throat> it is not yet time for this one. His destiny has not been fulfilled. His time here is not over. I beg you, let him have another breath. As it leaves your mouth, you hope that breath finds its way into this child. The buzz of the insects fades. The moss and fungus begins to gray and crumble. And you just feel, feel for anything. A 
And you feel his chest rise and fall. And as the moss and fungus that began to encase his burned skin, causing Yeza instinctually to begin to grow nervous, but then stop as he trusts in the process. As it grays and crumbles away, you can see the skin restored. Careful with that, because it could shatter, and I only have one, and I need this so that... Anyway. So that what? What is it? This looks like a collar you put around someone's neck. It is. So who do you plan on putting this collar on? My, my old teacher. Wow, that would be really cool. I can't don't know if it's really his style, but... It will be soon. I can't let what happened in here be for nothing. It's time for him to be silenced. Yeah. But it's, the placement is so sensitive in this without breaking it, and there's times you've gotten close, but you've not trusted yourself and you've pulled away. And it's been this constant struggle of like, you got one shot at this. And as you carefully look inside, your painterly touch the artistic dexterity that you've relied on for most of your life comes in extremely handy as you expertly place this red gem into the gap. And as it slides into place, you maneuver it to connect all the various converging lines of arcane channeling. And as it does, the red gem begins to glow red. As it does, you watch as these tiny little bits of dull filigree along the outer rim of this claw begin to glow that same red color, and it hums faintly with arcane energy. Is that, is it supposed to do that? Is that good? Yeah. Go team. <laughs> Don't blame yourself for any of this. I know it's kind of what you're prone to do, Caleb, but this is on all of us. We're a family now. This is, this is what we do. And we're going to make it better. Reaches his hand out and just sort of like squeezes the back of her hand on the ground. Yeah, I'll keep trying to remind myself of that. At this point, you hear the footsteps approach of Marion Lavore, who's been kind of on the periphery listening to part of this, and goes, I've been around a bit longer than most of you, really. And I've met many people, some good, some very bad. If there's one thing I've come to know, the good people are easy to be misled to think they're at fault for the things that bad people use to victimize them. It's how they stay in power. They convince us that we are responsible for every terrible thing that comes upon us. They're absolved. Blame's a tricky thing. And sure, we all have our own guilt that we keep. God's know I have mine. But. I've been told enough times in my life that I'm responsible for the bad things that befall me. And it's taken me this long to know that that's not true.
you follow along the same lines that Jester had uncovered before. Mm. Uh, you're spending more time with it. You do finally find a signature of the writer, and it says, Plain Rider Rin. Rin? That's so cool. I know. What a cool. Sounds familiar, though. And a symbol does. not unlike the emblem that was encased in glass alongside the scroll that sent you here. I continue to find an aberration in my data pertaining to Exandria. A cyclical, months-long, slow surge in low-level magical interference that then recedes just as slowly. It's something that tangles my readings and upsets my analysis. It is too faint to identify the arcane nature of source, but I worry if this pertains to the shifting between the veils. It could be something very interesting. Something very frightening. Very wonderful. More tests are required. But these are just musings of an individual. Back mm -hmm. We're gonna... Get the hell out of here. Go to Zadash. Okay. I'm going to grab the happy fun ball and hold on to it. Gee whiz, what if they pop out while we're teleporting? What do you think will happen? Oh, the odds are pretty slim. I'm going to try to message Ford. Okay, go for it. Ford? Are you guys okay? Are you... Did you make it through that first room and the second room? Are you with in the dragon room? What's taking so long? We're here. Oh, we almost. <laughs> As you are standing there with Yasha and Beauregard, with the golem looming behind you, about to break out of its stun, and your hands are all agreeing to go ahead and place your hand down onto the glowing crystal, you hear this at super speed in your head. Hey, what are you doing? Are you okay? Do you need a tissue? We gotta go! Spear! <laughs> you hear. <laughs> Passion of the scout. <laughs> All these poor people have no right. idea what's going on. I know. I know. Beautiful. So you do hear that back from Ford. <laughs> Actually, are. what if they pass out while we're teleporting? We'll be we'll be quicker and leaner without him. A brand new fighting force. Oh no! <laughs> like throwing a Slurpee out a car window. Just <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 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 like the Eight billion tiny beads of liquid. How did you get to that imagery oh, so fast? Yeah, what know. the fuck is wrong with that? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. It's so definitely bad. something she's done on the drive. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Focus on your friends. Oh, concentrate on the rod. Concentrate on Alexandria. Concentrate on the evening nip. Think of your father. Think of Zadash. The streets. There is this sudden gathering of green cloth that encircles you like a curtain. Okay. And as it spins around and then unfurls, you hear, ta-da! <laughs> um, and you are standing in an alleyway on the streets of Zadash in the middle of a rainy morning. Kind of glancing about, you take a moment and then you understand you're a few blocks away from the evening nip. Not too bring a flash of light, a heavy metal sound, and then <gasps> Yasha, Beauregard, and Ford all arrive. Well, that could have gone poorly. Oh my god, you guys. Uh, Luke kind of comes over and grabs uh, Caduceus' <laughs> pinky. And just kind of like walks alongside, holding your pinky and looks up at you, just goes like, You're really cool. You smell like farts. <laughs> <laughs> you swear you hear a little. Uh, yep. Cool a little angle. halfling toot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like Sorry, a hummingbird. <laughs> it's like a little bit of air coming out of a balloon. Yeah. You you walk for a little bit. Send a message to my dad. Okay. Who I never checked with to make sure any of this was okay. When do you ever? Yeah, well. <laughs> We're coming up for... Bear trap. We'll be there soon. Hey, dad. Ding dong. 
crazy stuff happened. So Mama and Fev's family are going to come stay with you for a while. Super important, they need to be kept safe. Help. There's a pause. And eventually, you're worried maybe he didn't hear it. And then you get a response. Oh. Boy. Well. <sighs> and that's it. <laughs> Of like wood scraping across ground and furniture being shifted. There's a big hustle and bustle, and as you step down, you can see a bunch of people are in the process of kind of cleaning and arranging things. Mm. As you see the back of the gentleman, he turns around and goes, oh. trains his eyes immediately on Marion. Welcome. Make me look like, um, the... One of the Spice Girls? Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Sporty, Stay if you don't mind. Dim, dim. <laughs> Could I be a Spice Girl as well? Uh, yeah, which you... Surprise me. Okay. She's posh. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of works. Okay. No. Scary, okay. scary Spice is obvious. Just a little... <laughs> obvious choice. Little black dress. Yeah. No. The classic historical adventuring <laughs> team out of Marquette and Spice Girls. <laughs> I'm going to turn into Alan Cummings as the manager from the film. There you go. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> from the oh my film. God. Oh my god. <clears throat> Spice World. All right. I make myself Maybe. look like Baby Spice. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll be a Spice Girl as well. You're scary. No, he's Ginger. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. We are here to spice up your life. Yeah, to match your ring. You spice? <laughs> you spice? Uh -huh. Here, before you go, I give Ginger Spice um, all my money just to help out with, um, it's only 393 gold. That's all your money? I've spent a lot on diamonds for art. <laughs> here. Hmm. To the spice bus? To the spice bus. Spice Girls World Tour. Yeah. Here we go. They had a spice bus? Obviously they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How have well, you not seen this movie? I haven't seen the movie. Each had oh, their wow. own you little area it. in it. No, they didn't. Yes. It was the coolest. It's a good movie. In the movie <laughs> or it's really real? fun. Oh, oh goodness me. This is a uh, fine hat of you. How are y'all doing? Welcome back. Oh, hello. We are not uh, oh, a group of adorable no, singers. Can he see? Yeah, can he, does he, he see, see through he, it? Say it? Does he know? <gasps> oh. oh my god, that's awesome. But I'm also baby spice in here, so. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so, hello, we're back. Uh, we're passing through town. How have you been? My apologies. I should have expected this was intentional. Well, it's a pleasure to meet all of you, strange. <laughs> Uh, girls. Girls. <laughs> Adventuring ladies in yeah. here. I am Pumat Soul. <laughs> Happy to help you in whatever uh, whatever it is you might be looking for. Are there other people in the show? There's one other individual. Oh, good. Get the mm. fuck out. <laughs> 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 Show's closed. <laughs> Reel it in, Ginger. Reel it in. <laughs> Caleb's scratchy <laughs> from me and coming out of support, uh, Baby Spice's mouth. Give this to her. No, sorry. <laughs> Make sure to give this to her. I was trying something and it didn't work. Great. We're, we're, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we're also in the market for gems. Oh. If you've got any. Are you? What? <laughs> trying to do a, I'm trying to do your role. <laughs> Yeah. This is so awkward. So, uh, um, um, uh, I was hoping to rifle through any scrolls you have. A One of them. Hold on. <laughs> Ginger is having a rough day. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger's a Muppet now. Miss, Miss Piggy. Being played by Miss Piggy. Yeah. Kirby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kirby! <laughs> oh, it's a pretty good Miss Piggy. One of them is Wall of Ice. Mm -hmm. I look forward to it. Uh, you still doing this? Uh... 
resolution thing next time, it's kind of hard to concentrate. I'm trying to focus on which one's which and hopefully not. Only if you would like us to come back and spice up your life. I'll think on it. Okay. Short stop. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Righty before we leave, I'm going to send a message to Yusa. <laughs> Oh, okay. shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. We're the worst. To yep, see if we he's are. okay. <gasps> All right. Are you okay? We sort of um, came through in a hurry. I hope you're okay. I hope you're not mad. Are you okay? Oh, God. Immediately. You hear this unexpected sound. <laughs> layers and layers and layers of voices screaming, wailing, shouting, screeching. There. Hundreds of voices, thousands of voices. And then it ends. You all set foot on a soft, mossy, grass-covered and earthen ground as you emerge from wherever this arcane, sudden surge brought you into the shaded center of the Blooming Grove. You see yourself surrounded by the dense canopy of the Savalier Wood, the sky above a dense gray color with a gentle rain that is falling and immediately beginning to soak coldly through you. I mean, this thanks to all of you. Well, things are afoot, I suppose. <laughs> uh, instead of, again, um, I'm going to cast exposition <laughs> and, uh, at third level, okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know it was supposed to be you. I didn't want to leave. I didn't want any of this. I was going to be the one who... I was going to be the one who stayed. I know. Sometimes I feel like I stole this from you. After you left, then Colton left, and Dad left, and Clarabelle left, and uh, time stopped meaning anything, and it was too quiet, and the Wild Mother wasn't speaking. And I was just here, uh, keeping home, and waiting for a sign to leave. I started having strange dreams. I hadn't even thought about them until we I returned till today. And even those first dreams told me that this was coming. And if I were done, they would have stopped. And I don't want to go. I have, I never, I wasn't going to come home because I knew I wasn't going to want to go. But I don't want you to go either. Because it has to be me. Because I've already seen it and it will just horrify me just a little less than the rest of you. <laughs> the storm has definitely arrived. The rain is getting heavier. What did the two of you want to do? Get out there! It's you. It's your storm. Get out there! You're, you're the storm. <laughs> and it's red. And a voice goes, Well, if this isn't unexpected, the 
Looks like the children are all growing up. Well, what do you want? You're the one who reached out to me. You hear Lucien's voice. <laughs> Just looking at the side of her head. Do you have like a manager that I can speak to? I wasn't trying to contact you. Well, too bad. You found me. Yeah, I didn't know you were gonna be at this party or else I wouldn't have come. Scheiße. I didn't have to be rude about it. What are you guys up to, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> is this out loud or is it in her head? Come on. I gotta know. Oh, I, I've copped to it being loose in two sentences ago. <laughs> From your guys' perspective, mm. she is just staring at the symbol. Oh, she's not talking out loud. She's not talking oh, okay. out loud. She you can see quite a bit with two eyes. Imagine when you can see the three, and you focus on the symbol of Ayun with the three eyes, and all three eyes I are cut, glowing red. Can I cut it away? Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh! Here's where I want that natural 20. It's another fucking seven. <laughs> <laughs> 11. You can't break away. Oh, no! Uh. Oh, wait, a saving throw? Saving throw, yeah. A saving throw. That is different, and... I can spend a key point to re-roll saving throws. Can I do that right now? That's a monk thing? Diamond soul. Monk thing. Oh! That's right. Right, You can monks? re-roll what? You can re-roll what? Broken saving ass throws. monks. Monks, you yo. You can re-roll saving throws? Try spend, spend a key, a key point. point. Of course you can. Yeah. How many key points do you have now? Off to the side. Ah, he's such a cock. Uh, I mean, I didn't... I didn't bury this particular person, so I can't comment on <laughs> Oh, I'm not talking about Ulysses, sorry. Oh. Yeah, he seems cool. I don't know, I didn't talk to him. This is the last save before the boss fight, guys. Yeah. So I know, it all does feel like out. it. <laughs> well, I'm just putting it on the list. <laughs> all righty. Just, you know, I got to see my mama and my papa together, and... It was pretty great, and they seem happy, and it just had me thinking that um, you never got to talk to Vanderen. No. Did you want me to send a message to Vanderen? I would do it. No. Do you want me to scry on him? So you can at least know? No, because I'm going to see him. Okay. I know it. And if for some reason I don't, he's found his peace. I would never want to ruin that. Okay. You feel very strange, and you open your eyes. And you're no longer in the grove. You look around you, and there is just broken, open badlands endlessly in every direction. And above you, rain, rain, rain pouring down from the clouds above. You see a blade. You grab it and pick it up. It's broken. It's rusted. It's old. It's not yours. You look around, you see other weapons. Each in similar condition. <laughs> Another flash of lightning. The storm is somewhat sparse where you are, but the clouds even grow darker still, in the kind of reddish haze on the horizon. Lightning you see flashing ahead, miles and miles ahead, rapidly, arcing, wild through the sky. <laughs> Occasionally touching down. <laughs> 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 
I'll just start running towards it just as fast as I can go. Splash, splash, splash. You run and run. The thunder continues to roll, almost constant now. The dark sky that claims the horizon. The crackling light that splits the tree in flesh. The flood that carves stone and earth. I now awake the rains that nurture and cleanse. I am the storm. What are you? I am your champion. Chain breaker. Angel reborn. Punisher. And redeemer. Show me. That's where we'll pick up next week. Oh, 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 oh show, show you what? Just right there? Yep. Show me what you got. Show me what you oh got. Oh.